What's up, anime? Yeah, what's Hello. Up, anime? Uh, our guest today is Miranda. Hey, Miranda. Hey. Hi, Miranda. What's Hi, up? Hi, Miranda. Oh, hey. No much. <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> uh... Yeah, Miranda, One day. we have a bunch of uh, things we track on the side. I've changed the layout a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, I saw it. I see that. Yeah. It looks cool. Uh, we track kills, deaths, whoopies, which is sex, uh, fallbacks for falling backwards, men in black, and then wholesomes when we rarely have a wholesome adventure. Oh, yeah. that's my language. Uh, emojis. Yeah, I, emojis mm. should definitely church it up. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh, Miranda, do you got a prompt you want to start with? Or we could take, uh, the surfer prompt. Um, Misa yeah, Life? What's up? start with the surfer one. Okay, okay. Uh, you're a surfer who's overconfident you're entering a surfing contest. Okay, what's this guy's name? Uh, name him, uh, Joey, uh... Joey Maddox. That's the name of a guy I knew who was a surfer. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Shout out. IRL. Joey Maddox. Uh, anything special about Joey? Besides his overconfidence? Uh, Let's you... see. His hair's too long. You stare too long? Too long. Oh, your hair is too long? Yeah. It gets in his eyes when he's surfing. It seems uh, subjective. Yeah. Hair yeah. that is way, way too long. Oh, like down to his feet, so when he like steps on the board, it slips. Like oh yeah, that'd feet. be too long. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Uh, all right. Uh, you're entering the surfing contest. Uh, you are a surfer oh. who's overly oh, confident. Oops. Oops, Your name is Joey have... Maddox. I forgot to You have hair that. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> false, false start. False start. Okay. Mm. The man stares at you with cold eyes. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay. That's not somebody you want to run into at a surfing contest. No. <laughs> uh, you're running a surfing contest. Mad Ox. I think his nickname should be Mad Ox. Mm. Oh, okay. Mad Ox. That's on his board, the Mad Ox. Oh, yeah. And there's a. a Josh is saying his surfboard is made of collected fingernail clippings melted down. Ew. Can you melt? Can you melt fingernails? I think I it's don't like think hair. You can melt them. Yeah, I think it would just burn. Mm. Everything has a melting point. Mm. Oh, baby. All right. Mm. Hello! All right. You're entering a surfboard contest, the grand prize. Is a lifetime supply of tuna. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right, so it's, it's a tie-in. Yeah. Tie yeah. Chicken of the sea. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Misa. What is that? A can a day? He has freeze vision. You uh, enter a surfing freeze. contest. It's like two. The grand prize is a lifetime supply of tuna. You win the contest and you go home with the prize money. But what does this mean? You can't just sit on it. You need to spend it all right away. Mm. Oh. So you do. You buy an expensive watch. It has a lot of fancy features. You oh. don't know why. You don't know why. Yeah, you traded the tuna for a watch. Yeah. Mm. Uh, a lot of prices you could take the cash value, I guess. That's true. Tuna is better yeah. than money for sure. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Jimmy or something. And all that money, do we have any left over or do we spend it all on that watch? Because watches can get one pretty. Watch. Just one watch. Oh, well, it said, you, you, it said you need to spend it all right away. So you uh, so you do. Damn. You buy an expensive watch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't sit on it. Wow, you won the contest. Yeah, that could have been the whole story, but no, just, we just won it. Yeah. <laughs> It was easy. Yeah. The end. You see the value of tuna skyrockets in the open market and you instantly <laughs> no! regret your decision. You've spent all your money in one day. You are now broke. Uh, the next day, after hungry. school, you walk into the local convenience store. You find yourself staring at a sign that says satisfaction. 
You look around for something else. There isn't anything else. What else is there? You try to remember if there was something else like this before. Hmm. Satisfaction, oh. all caps. Ooh. And that's not enough for us, apparently. It likes to stick. Just, yeah. This is one of those just stoner kids who just what? look at a wall for 20 minutes. What's up, Besh? Della Besh. He's actually in Hawaii, so this is a, a relevant story to him. Oh. Yeah. So we're a schoolboy. Yeah. And we're great at surfing. It's not even hard. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a nice watch. How about this? We're flat broke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't know that, uh, Josh. <laughs> yeah. You steal the sign and turn it into a surfboard. Then you put it together. That's how you learned about surfing. The world is ending. What? 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 That's quite right. the. Uh, it's not kind of glanced better. over that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Surfing while the world ends is a good name for like a memoir. You know. Uh, I got those. Oh, Misa, you're in London? Wow. Why are we surfing? You read a fucking like newspaper about the end of the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. Greater than you finish the story, the end is coming soon. It's time to get ready. Time to start living again. Hmm. Time to start living again. Yeah. What? Oh, I forgot to format right but whatever hopefully it, i'll just say it's you constant i like it yeah you constant earthquakes are causing gnarly 100 feet waves <laughs> and the sun will be gone by then <laughs> you run out of your house the sun you are not strong enough to handle the pain you fall off the stairs you break your neck you die no! the end is coming oh, soon jim it's time to that, get was ready. Me. that was me i didn't do it oh it was again. you i thought it was jim time to start live it's the end is coming soon. We broke our neck and died. Time to start living again. Okay, zombie surfer. Yeah, yeah, we're zombie surfer now. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Jim, I just, out of instinct, because uh, Jim is famous for killing us in the game, just for us saying random things. <laughs> oh, like, kind of like a Your body is washed out to sea and rides the waves. You swim through the ocean until you reach land. You lie down on the beach and wait for death. Death comes to you. You die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason, I don't see the, oh, the trackers in the counter. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't like emojis, apparently. Uh, okay. So. Uh, but we're already a zombie, right? Yeah. Can zombies drown? <laughs> yeah. I don't, we could be the I best surfer so. ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what is that? Wow. That is extraordinarily creepy. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you become the best zombie surfer in the world. But then the sun rises. You wake up. You feel alive again. Oh. Huh. I brought us back, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just fixing the stats here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's like all programming. Mm -hmm. Live tech support, guys. That's really what this live stream is. This is behind the curtain here. Well, you know what? If the world's ending, let's get out of here. Let's see. You trade your watch for a spaceship and leave Earth. Okay. You explore space. You discover planets full of life. Oh. Life is good. Life oh. is beautiful. You live forever. You learn more about yourself. Just had to leave you Earth. become more than a zombie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs>
You're more than a zombie. Oh, you yeah. become a silver surfer. Oh, shit. The end. Okay. The end? Okay. <laughs> That's a short one, but uh, I think All that, right. that, that okay. works. <laughs> that was the origin story. That's the next I Marvel know. movie coming out. <laughs> yeah. Get ready. That's, that's like spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. That's phase one of a twenty adventure uh, story adventure on uh, AIPD. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Get ready for the zombie sur silver surfer uh, universe yep. here. Widow black zombie. This is our Infinity War, guys. Oh yeah. Uh, All right. So it can we get a suggestion for another character, Miranda? If you. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. I have one. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, the let's... first one is good. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Play as a crab exiled by this crab trap and forced to pretend to be a lobster. We could do that one next. Mm-hmm. That sounds interesting. Or, or maybe a crab undercover in the lobster mafia. Oh, that's an amazing surfer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Agatha McCracken. Okay. Oh, the poison taster for the king. Oh, I like it. Because you really only have one job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bev says, says he can't see any surfers out of his window right now. I don't know. It's the, you. You make the call on that, Besh. Uh, and you get like a spoonful of everything the uh, king gets. So. Yes. Yep. Yep. It's true. You get the best food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you get it until you die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are testing the king's birthday feast for poison. I'm here to test your skills as a killer. Let us begin. What? You and Agatha stand in front of a large table covered with food. There is no doubt that this is some sort of meal. However, you can only guess that it probably contains more than just meat, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Milk. Gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The milk has been sitting out for three days. Yeah, yeah. Getting ready. Oh, it says, so it thinks we're different than Agatha. It thinks we're not the same. We can ignore that and just keep yeah, yeah. plowing on like yeah. Agatha. I'm here to test your skills as a killer. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, bribing the poison tester would be the easiest way to just kill the king now. Cause That's now you a have, good point. You have the main line to the king's food. Uh, all right, yeah, start okay. going down the line. Hold on, let me try this. Me try I this. hope we have similar taste to the king. Like, we're allergic to some stuff the king's not, but he still wants us to eat it anyway. Like, so he just blew it up, like, <laughs> the bait's are good! Oh, uh, my throat's closing, though! Yeah, there's a bunch of peanuts. You say, <laughs> I am Agatha, senior tester. I call dibs on on the meat. Okay. Agatha looks at you Some and smiles before here. continuing. Mm -hmm. Well, are you going to take my challenge or not? You look around nervously, wondering if you should answer her question. The fact that she is even asking this shows how nervous you are. Mm. We're a rookie tester, a taster it sounds like. Accept the challenge and eat 100 hot dogs right in front of her right now. <laughs> Show by you are the senior tester. Yes, we are Kobayashi of medieval times. <laughs> the Godfather is like the Godfather of the Cat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Inject Clorox. Yeah, I heard that comes highly recommended. Cleans the food. Yeah, and yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's ballsy. Oh, <laughs> okay. You prove to her you are not nervous. You start eating a bit of everything on the table and test it all for poison. After about an hour, you have finished. So, that was fun. She says while looking at you. Agatha continues, now we need to get back to work. We still need to test the next batch of food. It will be ready soon, so let's go then. Uh. You nod and agree. Wait, they're having another meal after this one? Well, it's like a multi-course meal. He is a uh, king after all. Okay. Yeah. So much food, though. I mean, I heard yeah, that's I what they did for fun, too. Back in medieval times, people would just eat until they throw up. and then. Yeah, <laughs> in uh, Roman times, like vomit, they would have vomitoriums oh. where they'd go and like eat, like vomit up and then go back to the feast. Oh, my God. Isn't that what people do now? <laughs> well, no, no pe people structure. don't vomit now. People keep it it's down. Called... Yeah. <laughs> down. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. We are gunning for the top spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to beat the other testers. On. I will rise through the ranks and become the best taste tester. The pair of you leave the kitchen and head towards the carriage station where you board one of the horses waiting there. You ride away from the castle as fast as possible. You don't want to deal with any guards or anyone else right now. <laughs> you are too scared. Mm. Misa, are you implying that we are being farmed? No, oh, oh. we're people. Uh oh. Uh, so we're we're getting the hell out of there. That doesn't seem like we're in the middle of a shift of uh, eating stuff. So yeah, yeah. Maybe we're going to the source. Yeah, farm to table. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just take a yeah. bite out of the raw animals. <laughs> That's what I said. Arr. Yeah, and the horse milk. I've never heard you of taste anybody the food drinking at the horse source. milk. You go to a nearby farm and test all the cow and horse milk. After a few <laughs> hours of testing, you find nothing out of place. Oh. You decide to go back home. When you arrive at your house, you see that your parents are both asleep. Your sister comes running up to you. What are you doing? What did you eat today? You explain what happened oh. and tell her you'll meet her later. That's like the most exciting part of the day for her. What did you yeah, eat? I know. What? What wild, what wild things did you eat today? <laughs> did you guys know that the, the national drink of Kazakhstan is fermented horse milk? No. Uh, for it's either can, Kazakhstan or their neighbor. Can you Ooh, ferment harm, milk? Harm. Yeah, Ugh. fermented yeah. horse milk. Ugh. Harm to table. That's what Besh says we should call this adventure. I like that. Yeah. Harm to table. <laughs> uh, Be a cannibal. See. I think that could work out. Yeah, okay, let's try that. King, I got a new meat for ya. <laughs> Just turns into Sweeney Todd. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> not our family. Come on. You yeah. taste your family to make sure they are not poisonous. <laughs> they aren't. Okay. You return right. to the laboratory. You are very glad when you hear that the king has given you a promotion. Yes. You are now a tester for the king. Mm -hmm. You are very happy. Okay, cool. Now we don't have to eat everybody's food, we just eat the king's food. Basically. I know, take that, oh, okay. Agatha. I think, yeah, before we had to eat it at all, yeah. Yeah, you gotta work your way up, you know? Yeah. First you taste the stable boy's food, then the guard's food, then the wizard's <laughs> food, then the queen's food. Oh. Wholesome, yep, very wholesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yep. I was going to say, we need some of the bribes because they want the yeah. king to die. We need you some meet your sister later and she gives you a letter from the duke that offers you a bribe to poison the king's food. You refuse since you know that would only lead to the death of the king. Duh. Your sister tells you that you shouldn't be so stubborn because he could easily kill his wife and children to gain power. She also well, tells you that you should accept the bribe point. since it isn't like you have much choice anyway. What? It's true. He could probably just uh -huh. send us to death. We didn't. Yeah, our sister is like Cersei yeah. in Game of Thrones. <laughs> so the Duke's either going to kill us with the poison or kill the king. We might as well pass the buck. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. You got it. Yeah. I didn't know the king could just murder his wife and child for power. So mm -hmm. let's kill him, yeah. I thought the king was already You accept the, the bribe. Yeah, yeah. Greater than you accept the bribe, you can fun, always go but I won't do it. You think as you walk into the room of the king's bedroom, oh. you sit down near him and read the letter from the duke. Oh. Dear son, oh. we were hoping you'd come back and help us out with our latest project. Hmm. So we That's took weird. the bribe and then we betrayed the duke and read the letter to the king. Uh -huh. That's a total snitch move. And also, the Duke is his father. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that happening, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe the Duke is just like a drunk that can't... Everybody hates him. And he's the only reason he's a Duke is because the King's like, yeah, I'll give you something to do so you don't try to kill like, me. Give his dad, like, a, a title. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wonder what Dear Son is just how they uh, start every letter. Yeah, Dear, Dear Son. Dear Son. Uh, you can yeah. try to become a king? Yeah, that's... Yeah, we gotta shoot high. Yeah, we gotta play the long game. 
<laughs> medieval Takashi 69. You tell the king his father, the duke, bribed you to poison him. He doesn't believe you though. Oh, his no. wife and children will kill you. Oh, he tells no. you to get oh, lost. No. You leave. A year passes. Your job as a tester oh. is over. You are a murderer. You feel empty what? inside. What you have murder? killed so many people. Oh my you god. You are done with killing. You oh. take a deep breath and close your eyes. How many kills would that be? Wow. You killed so many people? So many. We were so I depressed know. about losing our job that we I know. Murderer. Yeah. That's a real extreme switch. I'd say 30 is a lot of people. I'll say <laughs> I'll say three. Uh, I say two is a lot of people. Two? Jason. Okay, okay, okay. You <laughs> sick fuck. <laughs> we'll, we'll split the oh, difference at the same time. Yeah, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't say like that's so many. Yeah, so every Jason would take Jason seeing thirty dead bodies to be like that's a lot. Twenty nine, he's like, all right. I'll say sixteen. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> but if you were to say, oh, you killed so many people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's that whole thirty. Yep. For sure. It is subjective. It could have been, but for some reason we went on uh, killing. Yeah. <laughs> Three million is we, a lot of people. You know, when we try to do the right thing in this game, a lot of times it ends up backfiring on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I've noticed. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It really it kind of is. She kind of forced this on us, yeah. Yeah. What happened to the sweet sister that just wanted to know what food we ate that day? I you miss find her. your sister and tell her this is all her fault. She doesn't understand why you didn't kill the king. You tell her that she would never have been able to control you. She asks you why you accepted the money. Mm -hmm. You tell her that you had to pay off your debt to the devil. Whoa. Your sister leaves you crying mm. and angry. She thinks you're weak and stupid. Oh. You try to stop yourself from killing again. Wrong, yeah, wrong <laughs> thing to say to someone that just killed yeah. 16 people. Uh. The debt to the devil? Yeah, mm. what is that on a... Yeah, that's a uh, that's a curveball that just got thrown in there. Did we meet him at the crossroads and become a master fiddler? <laughs> oh, maybe we made a deal so that we can't die from poison. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, so got, yeah. silver tongue. Or it's like a mortgage, I think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You ask the devil how many murders you have left on your debt. One hundred. You Whoa. laugh at the oh, irony. Man. You open up a bottle of wine and drink the contents. Yep, I would you do vomit too. the wine as well. You feel better. You finally found peace. You wake up and realize that you haven't eaten anything in days. You feel hungry and you go to the kitchen. You see several jars filled with meat. Okay. Jars? Hmm. <laughs> meat <laughs> jars. Yeah. Good old spreadable meat. <laughs> <laughs> Just right in the cabinet. So we got 100 people to kill before we're free. And we vomited it up. Oh, we feel better. Yeah. So we're trying to kill people to pay off our debt to the devil, but if we kill 100 people, are we going to feel human at all? <laughs> like, I think uh, it's a lose-lose situation <laughs> here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's when we were happy. You go to medieval Costco. You see a wench offering free samples of mead and decide to taste them for old time sake. After <laughs> sampling the alcohol, you notice that the mead tastes different from other wines. You say, it's a curse. A man walks up what? to you and hands you a vial of poison. You take a sip of the poison and immediately feel sick. You yeah. throw up the rest of the contents of the jar and die instantly. Oh my god. Tony, come okay. on, you should have known. Yeah, yeah, that's my fault, guys. Uh, someone just handed us poison? Let's see, okay, oh. I'll get us out of this. Yeah. Are you got it, Jim? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good oh, point. Yeah, yeah. You go to hell and meet the uh, devil A good himself. old hell adventure. The end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right bye bye yeah. agatha mccracken yeah yeah the the ai is very short with us today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. drink poison drink poison in hell uh, uh oh let's do the uh the lobster thing again okay or this time. okay i'll uh do we need to say new game or yeah i got it okay oh you want to type it in uh, yeah go for it yeah i'll type it in you
Well, it's very fitting that Poison killed Agatha. Just a straight yeah. vial yeah. of it, though. Not hidden in any <laughs> food. We just straight take a sh shot of poison. I think the AI has a virus. Yeah. It's got something for sure. So we're a crab that's being forced to be a lobster or something? Uh, yeah. So, okay. Shelly Splinters. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maritime um, Detective. You are assigned Heck yeah. to go undercover in the Lobster Mafia, baby. This is like a SpongeBob spinoff show. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. We what happened? We can revert that. I meant to say hello. Oh, oh, oh. You Shelly Splinters, Crab Detective. You have been assigned <laughs> to investigate an incident that occurred on the island of Krakatoa where you found a small group of people who were burned alive by volcanic ash. Okay. The ash okay, was from a volcano <laughs> called okay. Mount St. Helens, which is currently erupting lobster, and has lobster. caused a massive amount of death and destruction throughout the world. Whoa, what the hell? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we have to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom of the sea. The volcano. <laughs> yeah, or the volcano. <laughs> the island of Krakatoa. But... Yeah, Mount St. Helens is not by Krakatoa. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Lobster Helens Mobster, is... JR. Lobster you mobster. discovered the Lobster Mobster. Yeah, I didn't even think oh, about yeah. that. Yeah. And people were burned alive by the ash? Oh, Hot that ash. was very common, yeah. Like in Pompeii, most people, uh, uh, why they were so well preserved, they weren't killed, they were preserved by the ash. Oh. Dance on Fun facts, ash. guys. Yeah, yeah. You discover Woo. the lobster mafia rigged the volcano to go uh, off. You go undercover as a lobster to find the go. culprits. Yes, yes. What do no, you do? Uh, come back. What do you what do? What do you do? We, what do we, you just, do? we just said the plan. Alright, let's just assume, yeah, now we're undercover. Let's go to uh, uh, a lobster titty bar and uh, go, hey, uh, anybody doing anything <laughs> lobster else? Lobster titty bar. Anything <laughs> illegal going on here? Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> I have the same idea. Yeah. yeah. You wear a lobster costume and head into the lobster nightclub. There you meet up with your team members and get a little information out of them. Oh, we got team yeah. members. They say it's all going down at the hotel room of one of the suspects named Mikey. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Mikey the Lobster. Yeah. Mikey the Claw. Yeah, huh. I like that. <laughs> What's all going down? Everything? All the drug operations for the entire year are going down at Mikey's hotel room. Yeah. They're, they're efficient. I'm beating up the lobster dance. Lobster shrimp is coming out of the shells, yeah? The, the Molt. That's the name of the club. The Molt, yeah. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Jim. Oh, good. <laughs> oh yeah. Butter. You yes. head to the hotel room and pretend to be room service. After knocking on the door, you knock on the glass window and yell, "Mikey." A lobster man answers the no, door. No, no. He looks like he is about 40 years old, wears a robe and a hat with a feather sticking out of it. Oh. He says, oh, hello, Mr. Splinter. Oh, he thinks we're one of his guys. Yeah, right? okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, working, yeah, yeah. it's working, yeah. Pretend to be Mr. Splinter, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm Mr. Splinter. Yeah. yeah. That's my name. Uh, I've known you my whole life. I like how he bang on the glass and yell, Mikey. Hey, Mikey! 40 <laughs> year old lobster? Yeah. 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 Because his claw was cut off and then he had regenerated. That's why it's called Baby Claw. Okay, okay. You say, What's up, pal? Take me to Baby Claw Mikey. Greater than you continue. 
baby claw Mikey a giant claw made of pure muscle is attached to his hand and he uses it to crush anything in its way. Oh, his name muscle. means big claws in Japanese. He can grow to over <laughs> oh, six feet us. tall and weighs several Wait. tons. Wow. He lives in a house what? on top of a mountain. Oh man. Oh man. This guy is That's... scary. So this is like the lobster Yakuza. Yeah. Yeah. This is like the final boss. Yeah. This is I know. Yeah. And he lives on a mountain. This is like Goro mixed with a car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He weighs several tons. <laughs> what the heck? Also, he can grow to six feet, so he's the size of a normal lobster that just uh e nut chuck that suddenly yeah. becomes six feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think that lobsters can build like like giant Gundam robots, but they're just people sized. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Investigate the sheriff's shack. Oh, oh god! Yeah, the sheriff's shack. that was yeah, yeah. That was a terrorism loop last night mm -hmm. that we were stuck in. Ask him the bear. Oh, yeah, you we... pretend to be we... Mr. Splinter and convince Baby Claw Mikey to tell you all about the master plan. Okay, a little forward. Baby but... Claw Mikey tells you that the mastermind behind this whole thing is his grandfather, Big Claw Mikey. <laughs> oh, he Big Claw Mikey. He also mentions that there are two more members of the crime family involved, but they don't want their names mentioned for obvious reasons. Obvious. He yeah. goes on to explain that the leader of the criminal organization is a guy named Mr. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow! No, wow. no identifying information for Mister. Yeah, it's just he's just called Mister. So the mastermind is Grandfather Big Claw Mikey, <laughs> and the leader <laughs> is Mister. Yeah, Mist. Wow, that is very mysterious. Let's it see. Goes uh, all the way to the top. Yeah. All, yeah. Wow. Mister Big from Sex in the City. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I think this is, yeah, I, uh, we need to, like, bring in some, uh, assistance because right, right by, right off the top, Baby Claw Monkey with his ability to grow six feet tall. We can't handle that. <laughs> we can't. What are we going to do? He's made out of pure muscle. And there's, there's two more guys on top of him? Oof. Yeah. Could be half of Mr. Mister. <laughs> and... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. You tie up baby claw Mikey and start using a claw cracker and melted butter on him until he reveals the location of big claw Mikey. It's like waterboarding. You tie up yeah. baby claw Mikey while Mr. U tells you how to make a hole in the wall with a fire hose. Hmm? Mr. Yu then proceeds to use his powers of telekinesis to pull the fire hose through the wall. Um, Mr. Yu explains that Big Claw Mikey is hiding in a cave near the crater of Mount St. Helens. Shelly's wow. got some, uh, uh... Yeah, Jim, didn't you mention Mount St. Helens earlier? Yeah, that, it said that Mount St. Helens was erupting and killing people. Oh, I thought it was Krakatoa. Mm -hmm. No, it's the island of Krakatoa. Oh, it's all connected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except the fire hose part, that makes no sense. Also, who is Mr. You? Uh, he just popped out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Mr. You? Our, our fifth grade yeah. math teacher? What is he doing here? Telekinetically he pulling a fire hose. <laughs> or, or our dad, yeah. yeah. That might be. If we're you, then our father is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe this is like Mr. It's like Mr. Robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. Uh. Okay. Well, now magic's involved, Jesus. So, or, I uh, know it turns supernatural. Yeah, it's telekinesis. But it looks yeah. like we got someone on our side. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess we had the element of surprise to tie up Baby Claw Monkey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's smart. Mm -hmm. This is like Magnum P.I. You take yeah. Baby Claw Mikey's feather hat and robe as your new costume. You assume his identity and head to the cave near the crater of Mount St. Helens. Mr. Yu leads you through the cave and eventually to a large cavern filled with lava and hot springs. 
Hmm. He shows you to a room oh. full of statues of crabs holding weapons. Oh, sure. He explains wow. that these are the leaders of the crime families. He then points to a statue of a human wearing a purple robe. <laughs> okay. Wait Ooh, a minute. That? So crabs. He he yeah, he shows you to a room full of crabs. So the crab. We thought we were the good guys, but it extends to the crabs. Oh yeah. 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 Purple robe. That sounds like the leader of the whole thing. Is it Prince? It's Dolomite. <laughs> Ask for the purple <laughs> robe. Yeah. Let's take that. You say, yeah. Who is that? Mr. Yu says, that's Princess Bubblegum. She runs the criminal <laughs> empire known as the Evil Corporation. Whoa. You say, mm. the Evil Corporation? Mr. Yu says, uh, yeah. yeah, she controls the entire underworld, including the crime families and pirates. Oh, no. You nod and, and say, the pirates. Cool. so what exactly happened to Krakatoa? Mr. Whoa. It really likes to trail off with the mister. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I've learned, if I've learned anything, the uh, less scary your mobster name is, the more feared you should be. So Princess Bubblegum has probably killed like <laughs> yeah. thousands of people. Oh, uh, anime says Princess Bubblegum is a character from Adventure Time. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not in this story, though. Should we say... Should we next this and find out what happened to Krakatoa? Okay, or no? sure, sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just casually, we're like, cool, so what, you know, I, I know, but I just like to reiterate the details of, uh... Yeah. You continue. Mr. You continues, Krakatoa exploded when it released too much gas from the volcano. It was supposed to blow up the entire island, but instead it accidentally blew up the entire city of Krakatoa. Mm. The only survivors were the three criminals who lived in the city. One of those criminals was Baby Claw Mikey. The other two were Mr. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Keeps cutting off Mr. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's like the period. Yeah, the period in Mr. I think is throwing it off or something. Yeah. Should I feel bad? For oh. Them now, though? I, don't know. I don't know. Like, well. But they started but, it kind of maybe. I don't know. But maybe the other two were the ones he said don't want to be revealed for obvious reasons. Yeah. It accidentally yeah. blew up the entire city. Let's see. Yeah, I guess you can't control nature. Or can you? Mr. You, come in with your telekinesis. <laughs> the fire hose comes through a hole in the wall. <laughs> Why are you only telekinesing fire hoses? Where are these fire hoses coming from, anyway? Yeah. Yeah, that's your superpower. You can put holes in walls you and fire You put houses. on the purple robe and head deeper into the Mount St. Helens okay. to find Big Claw Mikey. The Mount St. Helens. When you reach the bottom of the volcano, you see Baby Claw Mikey standing next to a huge pile of rocks. Uh oh. He looks he very freaked. tired and dirty. He smiles at you and says, Hey, I guess you're the new boss now. Hey! You oh. smile back and say, Yeah, I am. Yeah. Mister. <laughs> mister. Yeah, I am, Mister. <laughs> there are no accidents on life. All your choices are predetermined. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, now we're the boss of a crime family. We were. Oh, you have seen the AI put Princess Bubblegum into random stories before. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to do, yeah. This is a unprecedented undercover situation. Becoming yeah. the head of a crime family as an undercover operative. Mm -hmm. And Donnie Brasco, did he get? Did he become a made man? Remember that movie? I forget. You say, oh, "Hey, what's that over there?" and point to the other side of the cave. When he looks, you pull out a gun and shoot him in the back of the head. Go, baby! Then you turn oh. around and walk over to Big Claw Mikey. You grab him and throw him into the lava. Okay. You look up at the volcano and think about what you just did. <laughs> then you remember Mr. You telling you That's that Big jealous. Claw Mikey will come after you and you run away. You run through the jungle until you finally hide in a cave. The jungles of Washington? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Wow. 
So, so we're scared of the it, guy we just killed. Miss Lava. Well, he's he's implying that throwing him into the lava isn't going to kill him. Oh, interesting. Yeah, now he's got like uh, lava skin. He's got like yeah. lava armor. <laughs> you smoke your last cigarette and think about the case. Uh, so you decide noir. to call it quits and go to sleep. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? You gotta yeah, sleep okay. sometimes. Okay, with a lit cigarette in her mouth? That, that's how a lot of house players start. The bubble gum and lobster are edible. <laughs> yeah. But the combination is kind of weird. Yeah, we should have another counter for sleeping. How many times this bot just forces us to go to sleep in the middle of a uh, heated action? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Swim in the lava and see if you live. I think there's easier ways. You realize this case won't let you go. Uh -huh. You say your goodbyes to your pet beta fish, Roscoe. You set out to find and defeat Princess Bubblegum. Okay. The end. The oh, end? No, no, no. We're, no. Uh, uh, the yeah. end of the first episode. Let's, yeah. Let's, now and, and you're right, Misa. This AI loves to sleep. Mm -hmm. Wow, have we killed 18 people already? Jesus. Not in this story, but yeah. I mean, yeah, actually. 16 in that one. Yeah. Princess Bubblegum is a hero. Not in this world. She got in some. Yeah. She got involved with she... the Lobster Mafia, yeah. Yeah, she's an anti hero. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's a. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Ellen. What's up? Uh, you find. I don't know, where is Princess Bold? Yeah, we got no leads or anything. Okay. Um. Hmm. You got something, Tony? Yeah. Or you can go, I don't have anything great. Do we, oh, use, okay, okay. Do we use our powers as the head of a crime family to track her down? Like, uh, Oh, yeah. There's gotta be someone we... Well, we, yeah, that's true. We're a boss, but she's the the ultimate boss. Yeah. The Codfather. The Codfather. The Lobfather? I don't know. Oh, and, interesting. Why is it erupting again? Oh, it, it's like you in a feel game. The ground shaking violently. You look at and see Mount St. Helens is erupting. <laughs> Your oh, heart races okay. and you have no idea where you are or where you should run to. You are dying of an emergency. Your life force <laughs> is being drained by the oh, volcano. No. Whoa. Run, run, run. It's like a vampire volcano. Yeah. It's sucking our life force. Whoa, drink lava? Yeah, I mean anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's sucking, not blowing this <laughs> time. lava. Lift weights with lava. You are dying of an emergency. <laughs> yeah, oh, <damn. laughs> uh, thanks, AI. We know. Vampcano. What a crazy. Yeah, this volcano is scary. Yeah. How do you defeat a vampcano? Yeah. I know. Oh, shit. Oh, Giant Princess Bubblegum. It's like in a video game where you beat a boss and then the, the super boss emerges like from the mountain or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You drink lava to get your strength back. You see Princess Bubblegum emerge from Mount St. Helens. She is enormous. Her hair is white like snow and her eyes glow red. Ooh. She has a crown of thorns on her head and her body is covered oh. with scales. Biblical. She holds a large trident in one hand and a whip in the other. You know this isn't going to end well for you if you stay here. She walks forward towards you. Okay, yikes. Ooh. All you can eat crab first. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, little crab. Free cheddar baby skirts. Yeah. 
Anime, is this an accurate description of Princess Bubblegum, or does anybody know? A crown of thorns. Does she have a, scales. Does she have a crown of thorns like Jesus? A whip and a trident? No. Covered in scales? No, no. <laughs> the sea galley. Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Let's be ourselves for the first time in this entire story. You have mm -hmm. to take off two layers of robes and the I lobster know. costume. <laughs> you remove your lobster costume and reveal you are really a crab. You make your stand. Greater than you charge Princess Bubblegum, you charge Princess Bubblegum and try to stab her with your claws, okay. but she dodges them easily. Yeah, she, she swings her trident at you, but you dodge it too. Sweet. Mm. You attack her with your claws and bite, but she counters with a jab to your eye. Oh. You fall backwards Bye -bye. and scream. Fall backwards. Fall backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a. Uh, we didn't die immediately in one prompt, so. That was a pretty epic fight scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait! Can't we be friends? Bubble like skin. Oh, oh gosh, that's yeah. so bad. <laughs> uh, we're faring pretty well against a giant, though. For mm -hmm. I thought oh, that yeah. would be like she stomps on you, that the end, crab people. Seems to be the trend where the AI says things are really tough and then. Let's you fight them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Tony with the big prompt. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we get to wear an eye patch after this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did I get this eye patch? Well, it's a long story. Let me tell you about the time I became a mob boss and got punched in the eye by a giant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a metaphor for life. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, wow. You are battered and broken. You see your mother and father in a fever dream. They tell you all the power of your crab skitters are behind you. Crab sisters, you feel like ancestors. Stronger. Oh, okay. I was wondering. You stand up again. Princess Bubblegum looks afraid for the first time. You charge at her again. Attack. 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 You attack her with everything you got. Yeah. You stab her multiple times with your clawed hands, biting and scratching. Hell yeah. You rip off chunks of flesh and crush them under your feet. Whoa. But she is strong. Yep. Her trident flies right past your face and hits the rock below you. <sighs> you collapse mm. to the ground and begin to bleed profusely from your wounds. Do crabs bleed, or are they kind of just like? Just no, it's like uh, they bathe their organs in like uh, goopy goo. Thanks, John. John got my pun. He's he's had years of getting used to my puns so, <laughs> and hating them. All right. Uh, when things look the most bleak is when we make our final stand. Yeah. Yeah. Take us home, Miranda. Yeah, this is a true movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the most cinematic adventure we've had. I feel. Yeah. Princess Bubblegum tosses you in a large pot and eats you. The mm -hmm. end. I'm, still, <laughs> I'm amazed that it understands we're a crab pretending to be a lobster and a private investigator. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty... I mean, it is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Made for TV film. Oh, yep. Yeah, this could easily be on, like, Adult Swim. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You throw Ash in Princess Bubblegum's face to distract her, then tackle her into the sea, Sweet. sacrificing oh, both of your lives nice. to bring an end oh, to this monster. I like that, I like Princess that. Princess Bubblegum dies screaming in agony while you watch helplessly. Helplessly? Helplessly. <laughs> yeah. I guess we're being like, she's like holding on to us as we're falling to like the bottom of the ocean or something. Yeah, yeah. This content is easily <laughs> better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Helpfully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's a good family story. I like that. This is like wholesome anime. Yeah. yeah. 
I like that. Yeah, we we yeah we didn't uh, completely succumb to the crime life, and we took out the, all the my oh, family. Oh yeah. Yes, thank you. All right. <laughs> what time is it? Adventure time. <laughs> you, your shell is caught by a branch on the cliff, and your life is saved. You lie on the beach and cry. A strange voice comes from above you. I'm sorry. You open your eyes and see a giant crab staring down at you. He is wearing a purple robe. His oh. name is Mr. Popo. He tells you, I'm sorry. You stare at him in confusion. What? Like, Popo, is he our boss, like the head of the police department? Mr. Popo, oh. yeah. Head of the crab police department. Was okay. he behind it the whole time? Yeah. Because he's got a purple robe? I think so. I think, yeah. We just killed an innocent person. <laughs> Who turned into a giant? She was just a puppet. Mr. Yeah. Popo's the real. Close your eyes. You have done good, Shelly. It's time you leave well enough alone, though. Oh, I said Pope instead of Popo. So. <laughs> Mr. Pope. Yeah, it might be okay. <laughs> He's the Pope. You killed the Pope. Nickname. You I realize you Mr. Too. Pope, the chief of the Crab Police Department, was pulling the strings all along. You realize there is still work to do. You are awakened by a loud noise. You look up and see a meteorite crashing into the mountain. What? You hear a roar coming from above you. You head up to investigate. The crater is big enough for a small town. There are dead trees everywhere and the sky is streaked with fire. Hmm. Rocks the size of houses are falling from the sky. Whoa! Wow! What? It's also an apocalypse. Yeah, we went right from like a a crime movie right into uh, Armageddon movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fire in the sky. Yeah. Dang. Okay. <laughs> rocks the size of houses are falling from the sky. That's pretty scary. Yeah. That's pretty terrifying. That's, that's some big rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Like starter houses or second homes? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Pool shacks are flying from yeah. the sky. The world's getting yeah, we, that, yeah. We were helping it along. Oh, Mr. Popo is a blackface guy from Dragon Ball Z? Interesting. Yeah, he, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, fire hall like powers. G -G uh -oh. Guy. oh, yeah. Typo. <laughs> use your physic powers. Physic. You beg Mr. Yu to use his physic telekinesis uh, firehouse psychic. power to block the falling rocks. <laughs> Mr. Yu refuses. Oh. Mr. Popo leads you to the edge of the crater and shows you okay. the giant crabs trapped inside. Wow. It seems like they were trying to escape when the meteor hit, but the impact crushed their fragile shells. Oh, oh, no. They can only wait and hope for rescue. No. The rescue team arrives and begins to dig through the rubble. They discover the bodies of Mr. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus. I like how the computer totally denied my prompt there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, because... He, well, he refused, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The bodies of Mister. Weren't those the two crime bosses? Yeah, who didn't yeah, get yeah. named. <laughs> I'm looking for an image of Mister Popo. You turn Mr. Popo into the CIA. The oh my God! Uh, that's Mr. Popo. The rescue team leaves them be. The rescue, the rescue team, team leaves them be. What? Well, they're all dead. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So no. they're entombed in there. Punch. Wow. Mr. How did How did Dragon Ball Z ever get away with that character? That's unbelievable. I think he still exists in like modern. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? I don't see it. <laughs> uh, all right i think that's a kind of uh wraps it all up 
You turn the Invis Yeah, let's see. Uh... The world is still ending, I think. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, we've... Yeah, let's, okay. You... Mr. Popo's dealt with... Yeah, let's stop these meteors. Japan doesn't have the same sensibilities. That's still on the air? I, I'm pretty sure. I did reruns. It's not like they, yeah, censor any of the episodes. More popular than ever. Ooh, ee, woo, uh, oh ee, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I love that. You go to Crab Church and pray to Red Lobster, the god of all marine life, to save the earth from destruction. Greater than you continue, the rescue team leaves you be. You go to Crab Church and pray to Red Lobster, uh -oh. the god uh, of all marine life, to save the earth from destruction. Okay, is that it, it yeah. kind of bounced that yeah, back right this? past you. Yeah. yeah, I think we need to save ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we don't need Red Lobster. We took over a crime family from an undercover yeah. position. Here, I got it. <laughs> oh, I meant surfer, damn it. Yeah. Surger? <laughs> 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 a surger. That's what they call surgeons in the crab world. I wonder you what buy it... a spaceship from a zombie surger and leave Earth. You fly around the galaxy, fighting pirates and space monsters. Sweet. Eventually you come across a planet called Earth. You land on the surface and start building a submarine. Then you notice something okay. weird. The people have disappeared. Their homes oh. and businesses have been destroyed. No one knows why the world is ending. Soon you learn that the aliens have arrived. They've taken over the entire planet. Space lobsters. Yeah, what? Uh, what? So we go on mm. this, like, uh, giant galactic journey and then we come right back to Earth where aliens are taking over the planet. Well, because of light speed, though, like, many years pass for you on Earth while you're, like, operating at the same speed. Mm. That tracks. Yeah. It's a law of psychics, right, Jim? <laughs> psychics, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the aliens yeah, in we the should. lava. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it could work. Isn't like according to Scientologists, like uh, like the aliens live in volcanoes or something like that? I. Uh, like yeah, something like that. We're probably gonna get stalked by that channel. Oh yeah. You want to try throwing the aliens in the lava? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go for it, Jim. You got it. Oh, okay. The aliens ghosts. Too many genre mixes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> aliens is... You throw the aliens in the lava. They become your new slaves. Oh, you no. build a spaceship out of wood and metal and fly away. <laughs> You're not sure what to do next. A wood spaceship? Huh. Mm. <laughs> what happened to our other spaceship? <laughs> yeah. I know. We threw it away. Yeah. We're very, no, this uh, one's better. We don't recycle our spaceships. One use only. Yeah, one yeah. use. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, a wooden spaceship. <laughs> I feel like this is setting it up for a sequel. I'm almost like, ah, there's a lot of space out there. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Shelly Splinters. <laughs> Space cop. Damn it, Shelly Splinters. Yeah. Stop going, leaving Earth. And yeah. St stop throwing your spaceships yeah. away. You find out the slaves have formed a union. You decide to join them. Oh, wow. oh another undercover <laughs> operative here. Yep. Uh-huh. Here we go again. Yep, that's what's Credits going roll, say. yeah. Next movie is like Shelly Splinter's Union Buster. Yeah. <laughs> this is just like the new this is like the crab version of Medea. Yeah. <laughs> where where? Medea. You said, oh, where is go Shelly Splinter's and launch a nuclear again? missile at the alien base. <laughs> It works. Crab the missiles Crab destroy the base. Whoa. The aliens flee back to their ship and crash land on another planet. You celebrate by throwing some more aliens into lava. <laughs> <laughs> now that we know it works, we might as well just keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, Jim. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. So it looks like we uh, drove the aliens away from Earth, at least. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, but we celebrate by throwing some more aliens in the lava. Yeah, we gotta have some more. That's how you uh, celebrate. They seem like expendable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a nuclear missile too. Wow. Yeah. How, That's we, the only thing that kills aliens because they they can withstand the radiation of space. Yeah. Shelly's got access to nuclear missiles. Wow. Yeah. That's quite the crime family. Uh, here I want. I want to see if this works. I can't believe that we've we've only died like I think once, right? During this whole thing, once or twice. Uh, two or times. actually maybe have we? Yeah, we are okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> we, we died as a zombie though, so really only once. Dear mom. The counter says two, yeah. Oh, yeah. You give a very detailed description of the aliens in a letter to your mother. She reads it and says, "Oh my God." What did you do? Are you crazy? Why didn't you just hide? You explain that you had to kill the aliens because they were taking over the world. Yeah. Your mom <laughs> cries a little bit and hugs you. She uh, says, it'll be okay, and kisses you. It will, you promise. Uh, oh. Uh, it will. It, that's, that is such a mom reaction, by the way. She's like, why didn't yeah. you hide? Oh my god, you could have died, <laughs> You <laughs> killed all those people. <laughs> I think that's a good ending. That's a wholesome. I, yeah, John, you're I right. I think it is. I do think so, yeah. <laughs> Josh said that she asked why you aren't married yet. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's my crab oh, babies? Yeah. Oh, Mom. Come on, Mom. Oh, Leave God. it be. I know. Here we go again. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a good ending right there. Crab Medea mm -hmm. has a bunch of children. Yeah. Have Crab yeah, Medea get married. This needs a sequel. That was... Uh, that was a great suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. Crab begins. Uh, who was that? Josh in the stream. That uh, the crab that pretends to be a lobster. Man, that was so. That I really feel like some of these things could be like really funny, like movies or whatever, or cartoons. Yeah. Th that we some of the adventures we there. We're generating a lot of uh, uh, spec scripts for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Miranda, it was awesome to have you on. Yeah, you were great. Yeah. Thanks for having me. That was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh, you got anything to plug? Any online stuff or any? Or Instagram, Twitter? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess when the when the world resumes to normal, come check out the bureau at Go Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully, yeah, you get to finish out your own. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> uh, all right. Good night, everybody. Yep. All right, good night. Tell your friends. Yep, tell your friends. See you tomorrow at 8. Bye.